What's up guys, hi YouTube. So basically, this is my first vlog out of a new YouTube channel that I've kind of created and uh, want to develop. Uh, so if you clicked on this, thanks for joining. I am going to explain a little bit about myself before we get into the video so that you guys kind of recognise who I am, where I come from and what's going to be featured on these vlogs. So my name's Joel, I am a professional dancer, singer, actor and model and doing a PT course at the moment during lockdown to get qualified. That's kind of what these vlogs are going to be a bit about. They're going to be like taking you through my day-to-day -day life. Obviously, I don't have a job at the moment because of the coronavirus, but when I have a job, it will take you through the travel of that because I tend to travel the world a lot with, with whatever job I'm doing. It'll take you through the dancing, the singing, the acting, and the jobs that I do. I'll take you through the working out and help you guys out if, if you guys need a bit of support with the gym. It kind of encompasses the whole kind of thing this area because obviously we've been in lockdown for a few months now this is going to be the first time back in the gym i'm probably going to experience a bit of reduce in in strength in muscle size and that's okay so i'm going to be testing the waters out like my deadlift and my uh, bench press and stuff are probably going to be a little bit weaker than they were but that's fine we're going to build it up again probably no like kind of prs or anything today and i'll explain kind of a bit of everything about what i go through to that because i've just done my pt call i feel a lot more educated when it comes to doing those workouts okay if you kind of like this and you want to hear more you want to see more please give this video a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos of what i've just been talking about and if you have any ideas for things you want to see in my videos things that will interest you specifically about gym places to travel dance styles you want to see anything related to fitness or anything that i've talked about please leave a comment below and i'll get back to you and make a video about it so all that said i'm gonna get a shower put some clothes on and i'll catch you in a sec and I'm back. Did you guys miss me? Probably not. You guys are probably wondering why on earth, Joel, did you have a shower when you're going to the gym? Well, I'm just one of those people that doesn't like to leave the house without showering. So, that's done. I'm a bit of a weirdo. If you're the same, comment down below. Let me know. Feeling a bit more fresh. Feeling a bit more ready to go. I've managed to dig out and dust off some pre-workout, some protein, which isn't even open. They're all kind of half used. We passed the sell by date now because I haven't used them in ages. Because this is the first time I've gone to the gym in like five months. Last time I went to the gym was in Switzerland when I was on tour with Bodyguard. Yeah, that was pretty much fun. I tend to watch a lot of athletes, people that do vlogs similar to this, especially Matt does fitness. Now he's currently building his own gym in his backyard, but because I don't have loads of money, I'm gonna have to move to the gym. Boring, but it's what us muggles have to do when we can't afford a gym in our backyard. I'm gonna go downstairs and make a bit of a smoothie, pack my bag. Not necessarily that order, I'm gonna pack my bag first, and then I'm gonna head out to the gym. I'll catch you on the road. Hair's looking a bit wet, it's raining. I'm on the way to the gym, not sure how it's gonna feel. I'm gonna take it, take it easy, do some warm-up sets and build-up sets. I've designed kind of a split routine for myself at the moment, which means I'm gonna be doing uh, different body parts on different days. Update, I am waiting for the train. Yes, I put a hat on. No, I'm not a Gymshark athlete, although I would love to be. I'm not even sure if they're going to allow the camera in the gym. If not, I'll have to kind of do it subtly. Today, 
is I'm gonna mess around with a bit of back, do some deadlifts, get them out of the way first, compound done. Then we've got lat pull downs, seated machine rows, chin ups, and maybe throwing some abs at the end if I'm feeling it. I'm feeling ready to do some hard work, but also I haven't done it in five months, so I don't wanna go too hard because the doms might just be incredibly painful tomorrow. We're here. I'm gonna get the technicalities sorted out. Uh, I'm gonna get changed, get my gym equipment out, uh, and then I will meet you. What you want. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. Pre-workout. My love, if you feel like I do right now, don't say you're on the run to the other side. My love. Keep my voice down because I don't want to disturb everyone else in here. So I'm gonna go on the treadmill for a bit and kind of warm up. Alright, warm up is done. Got a mahoosive sweat on, as you can see. I'm gonna do some quick stretches, a couple of exercises, and then I'm gonna move on to deadlift warm up. You say you wanna try, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason why we lose. Alright, I just done a warm up set with the bar. It's feeling okay. I'm gonna uh, start building up some weight. Six is feeling good. Six is feeling good. Um, I'm step up to 100. My PR before lockdown was 190 kilograms, but. I'm not going to try and get to that today, that was, I only hit it like a couple of times. It was pretty intense. Um, I'm looking at maybe like 140, 160 today, for like a couple of reps. Uh, but that's probably, probably max because I don't want to push it too hard today. It's definitely harder than 100 used to be. I used to, I think, I got a maximum once of like 25 reps on 100. I put some eight there and I'm feeling tired. So there's obviously some muscle and strength loss for that, but that's okay. I expected that. I just need to build that up again. I won't be going too high today. I'm gonna drop down and do some back offsets as well. Lighter weight, get the technique back, get the form back, it's not about the weight. I might need to run down and grab um, grab some grip, some powder. Feeling heavy. It's definitely getting a sweat on as well. It's gonna hurt as well. Gonna feel those doms. And the heavier I go now, the, the, the worse my form is gonna be. But I'm competitive, so I, I want to end up like putting more on the bar. But I know what I need to do fundamentally, and I just need to build it up again. So I think I might go for 150 for like one, maybe two reps, see how that feels. And then I'm gonna do some back off sets. I won't go higher than 150. Okay, unfortunately, right as I was about to lift 150, uh, the battery died, so I just ran down to get a new one. I did actually pull three reps for 150, could have done maybe a couple more, but I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna do some back offsets now, so I might down, drop down to like 120, do a couple sets there, and then maybe like 100, and then maybe a couple sets there, and then I'm gonna move on to upper back. Also, my AirPods have died, which is really inconvenient. I just thought that my, uh, my grip 
was hand sanitizer because I'm in such a routine and I rubbed it on the back of my hand as well as the front. <laughs> traveling I'm going to see my girlfriend in america um, and we're going to be doing some workouts pt stuff lots of exciting things to come so if that kind of thing interests you please get hit subscribe and then we're coming out some more videos leave a comment if you, uh, if you want to leave some feedback constructive criticism is always um, appreciated um, but that's it really and um, i'll see you on the